Sit down, thank you. Okay, now it's time to be quiet. Now we have to pay attention. Okay, let's start with prayer. Here we go. Close your eyes, hands together. All right, dear Lord, thank you for this day that we can come. We can learn a bit about the Bible and uh, play some games a bit later. So we thank you, Lord, for blessing this time. Pray that you'll help us be attentive, sit still and be, be quiet as we listen. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, so sit quietly, rule number one. Hit two is pay attention. You don't want to just sit quietly, you want to listen. And number three, Simon? Put your hand up if you want to say something. Thank you, very good. Okay, remember how this works? Every four Bible clubs you come to, <laughs> you get a pin, <laughs> all right? So we all started at four because we started into week 16, so we just, everyone starts at the same place. So that's why everyone's got four pins. So if you come next week, because next week's going to be week 20, because today was week, oh wait, what's today? Today was week, well, top of my head, week 19. So next week, if you're here, you get another one. I think you can miss three in the year and if you, until you miss one. Okay, what are we up to? Ecclesiastes, book 21, a, book about, a bit about the book of Ecclesiastes. So this was a book written by Solomon. And with some of the reflections on Solomon's life. So a lot of people believe that Solomon, you remember this picture from last week? Solomon, the King Solomon was the king, what happened? Where God came to him in a dream and Solomon did the right thing, he asked for wisdom. And uh, through that wisdom he did a lot of bad things as well. And that's what we read about in Ecclesiastes, is all the ways that Solomon indulged himself right how he indulged himself with people and singers and gold and all sorts of things are there some things that you like yeah can you imagine if anything you wanted you could have that's a lot of power isn't it if you wanted anything imagine you know when we go to kmart and you see all those toys tj jeremiah Abel, you see all those toys that came out? Imagine if you got any of them if you wanted. Usually your parents say no, right? Your parents say, you can't have that. You've got too many toys already. But Solomon, he had the opportunity where if he wanted anything, he could have it. And you know what he writes in Ecclesiastes when he writes his reflections on his life of all the things he indulged in, the music, all the toys, all the, the women as well? He did everything. You know what he said? He said, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. All is vanity and vexation of spirit. Go sit back down. What does that mean? Vain. It means it was not profitable. It was useless to him. Why? Because at the end of the day, you can't bring any of these things to heaven. So as he's writing through Ecclesiastes and he's talking about all these things he enjoyed, all the nice things. He, he said anything his eyes saw, he didn't keep from him, he got it. And he said all is vanity and vexation of spirit. And then in Ecclesiastes 12, Ecclesiastes 12 is where he comes to his conclusion at the end of the book after he's written about all the things that he's done in his life and all the lessons that he's learned. And remember how we learned last week how Solomon wrote a lot of the Proverbs as well. The Proverbs are the wise sayings that God gave him. And we learned, we're going to learn a lot about that this morning in church as well, as we talk a bit about mothers. Right? And look at what he says when he sums it all up. He says in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1a, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. So we're just going to look at the first half of this verse. It says, remember, because it's so easy to forget about God, isn't it? You know, every day we're doing our thing, we forget about God. So God is trying to remind us here. Remember now. So we don't remember later. We don't remember when we're older. We need to remember now, right now, in the days of our youth. 
now thy creator who is this this is jesus christ remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth so you have to remember god when you're young when you have the energy to serve him because when you get older it's going to be a lot harder right ah, it's all back you know you can't move as fast you run out of breath whereas now when you're young oh you can do everything can't you jump run do action songs ah when you're an adult though you start to slow down that's why you have to remember god when you're young okay so let's read it together ecclesiastes that's how you say that ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 a remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 a okay so just like solomon remembered he said hey i did all these things and it was vanity and vexation of spirit hey we need to he says this this is the conclusion of the matter we need to fear god and keep his commandments so just like us today what is the purpose of our life the purpose of our life is to point people to jesus christ isn't it you know not when we're old not later on we need to do that now we need to remember now about jesus christ and we need to tell people about him so that they can have a place in heaven like we do all right